Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care channel. I'm Dwayne and I'm a certified RV inspector. Today we're going to be talking about Class A motorhome manufacturers or brands that are considered generally to be the best quality. Now I get asked this question a lot. You know, if, if I'm going to buy an RV, which brands should I be buying? And it is a good question, but you know, the thing to understand about all this is that if I give you an answer, it's only my opinion. And that's really all it is. When you get into these kind of subjects, it's very subjective. And I can't really test it all out for you, but I do have opinions that I've formed, and uh, I'll give you what the opinions are based on. Uh, really, number one, going through tons and tons of RVs, I mean, I have seen a lot of RVs and I have inspected RVs and I have done research about, about RVs till the cows come home online. You know, uh, you go on the forums, I mean there's a, a lot of great information that, uh, that you can get on RV forums. And of course RV reviews, I read a lot of reviews. And then being able to actually talk with RV owners, that's a, a rich source of information about uh, RVs and how they were built and whether they're satisfied with them and so on. So that's what my opinion is based on and this whole list that I'm going to go down today is basically just my opinion. And uh, you may disagree with it completely and you know that's fine because uh, we all have our opinions uh, and but what I'm providing here is just based on my experience. Now there's a few things that I want to cover before we actually launch into the list so that you understand what I'm actually uh, doing with the list. First of all, you got to understand that when we're comparing Class A motorhomes, you, uh, you have to kind of separate it out between gasoline engine uh, Class A's and diesel engine Class A's. They're, they're really different. Uh, the manufacturer process is different. What they're including, what they're not including is different in each one and so on. So uh, understand then that in the list I'm going to break them out between gasoline manufacturer brands and diesel motorhome uh, manufacturer brands. Now the next thing I want to talk about is that you cannot fairly compare um, Class A motorhomes that are at a, a wide range of cost points. For instance, if you buy a Class A motorhome that's about $150,000 new, you really can't honestly compare that one-on-one -on -one with a, a similar type of Class A that costs three or four times more. Why? Well, you know, in life you generally get what you pay for. And if you're going to pay that extra money, really you expect to have a higher level of uh, ma materials used in, in the motorhome itself a better fit and finish, better customer service, and all these kinds of things that go along with spending more money. So with that in mind, in the list I'm going to separate out the brands by higher end or higher cost brands, mid-range brands, and then lower cost brands. And that way we're making a fair comparison between the manufacturers as to what they're intending to sell you. Now the last thing I want to talk about too is that things have changed a lot in this industry over the last 10 years. I mean a lot. So there are some manufacturers that were around 10 years ago that aren't even in business anymore. And uh, also there are others that have changed dramatically over that period of time. Some their quality has gone downhill, others their quality has gone up, you know, over that time. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is again break out the list between uh, motorhomes that were built 10 years ago and those that are being built today. And that way if you're a new buyer uh, you'll get a nice list of uh, good quality brands and manufacturers for today. Uh, if you're a used buyer well then you'll have something to work with uh, on those that were in years, years past. All right, well, I've laid the groundwork for all that. Let's get into the list itself. And uh, so we're going to start with the diesel pusher 
section of the Class A motorhomes. These are the big boys, so it's a good place to start. And we're going to go back 10 years. And 10 years ago, if you were buying a higher end Class A diesel pusher, the, the manufacturers, the brands that had the best reputations then for quality were Country Coach, Tiffin, Monaco, and Newmar. And uh, all very well-made units. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you can actually look at uh, many of those and they look almost uh, like brand new today if they've been cared for. In the mid-range, we're going to give the nod to Winnebago, Holiday Rambler, very big fan club for them. Here's one you may not have heard of, Rexall. And uh, that may seem funny. And they weren't a big maker, but boy, they have a very f a loyal uh, fan club. And we're going to include Fleetwood in that mid-range diesel pusher, a Class A motorhome from 10 years ago. Now on the lower end, there's a couple of manufacturers that have a lot of fans. Uh, and uh, that is Damon and Georgie Boy. So if you're looking for a more economical diesel pusher from 10 years ago, those are good choices for brands. Let's bring it up to today. Well, things have changed a lot in the diesel pusher end of this category today. And what we've seen is kind of a skewing more. The brands and manufacturers are going toward more the higher end. They're leaving that uh, mid-range and lower end sort of open more these days. Um, so on the higher end today for diesel pushers, uh, my recommendation would be Newmar, Tiffin, Winnebago, because Winnebago has been moving their price point up over the last 10 years, and Integra. These are all very good brands that uh, you can uh, feel fairly comfortable that you're getting a really uh, good quality product from. In the mid-range, there's not really a lot to choose from, but I'm going to give Fleetwood a, uh, a nice thumbs up here. On the low end, we'll go with Forest River. All right, now let's move from diesel pushers to gassers or gasoline engines. Going back again 10 years ago to start with. And on the higher end of gasoline-powered uh, motorhomes, Class A's, we give the nod to Tiffin, Newmar, Holiday Rambler, and Monaco. Very good coaches all. In the mid-range, uh, uh, again, Winnebago. Once again, Rexall comes in here, and I'm going to add another one that you may not have heard much about, Triple E. Again, very uh, has a very loyal following. And uh, then on the lower cost uh, for gasoline-powered uh, Class A motorhomes from 10 years ago, again, Georgie Boy and Damon. Now, it, let's bring all that up to today. Where, what do we find today in the gasoline section of this, uh, this category? On the high end or the high, uh, higher priced models, Newmar. Tiffin and Winnebago because Winnebago has been moving that price point up and in the mid-range Fleetwood and Integra. On the low end we'll give a, a nod toward Thor and Jayco. Now those are my uh, opinions about the quality that each one of these manufacturers uh, are producing. But let me say a few things here. This is all subjective. So, as I went through that list, you might have disagreed with a lot of it. In fact, you may have gotten a bad, a lemon of an RV from one of these manufacturers that I just recommended. But let me remind you that lemons can be had in any brand, any manufacturer in the RV industry. What I'm giving you with this list is a list of manufacturers that are generally well received and it's agreed to that over time they produce a quality uh, product. And so don't, don't be angry if you got a, a product that wasn't really what you would have uh, expected from one of those manufacturers. Um, 
you know, it can happen in any brand. Uh, the other thing that I, I want to mention here is that this does not mean that you should only buy a uh, Class A motorhome that's on my list. It doesn't mean that you can't consider ones that aren't on my list. This is just helpful information that I'm providing for you. That's really all it is, a general guideline of what many people agree is the best quality uh, manufacturers for Class A motorhomes. That's all it really is. Now, the next point I want to make is, if the RV you're considering is 10 years or older, well then, actually, the priority shifts more from the quality of the brand to the quality of the maintenance that's been performed by the RV owners during that period. Because, yes, more toward the early life of an RV, the brand makes a lot of difference. But as time goes by, it's not so much the brand itself. I mean, it's always a consideration. But then it starts to be more, uh, it's more important what that owner did with the RV to keep it in good condition. So bear that in mind. And finally, did you notice that in the list that I went down, that there was three manufacturers whose names kept coming up <laughs> over and over? I'm sure you caught it. And that is Newmar, Tiffin, and Winnebago. And yes, uh, if you had to press me for the top of the top, in the Class A motorhome industry, I would probably say that I feel that these three manufacturers uh, really, more than any others, consistently produce a high quality product. So all that simply means is this. If you choose to buy an RV from one of these brands that's on my list, well, then you're just simply putting the odds more in your favor for getting a high quality RV. It doesn't mean that you can't get a great RV from another manufacturer, but you're just going with the flow, so to speak, when you jump in there with the good quality manufacturers and purchase from them. Well, I hope what I've covered here today has been helpful. I hope that the information that I shared with you will give you something to think about the next time that you consider buying a Class A RV or motorhome. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.